Hey babies, welcome back to the channel. So we're back today with a new video. In today's video, we will be featuring Eon Hair. So big thank you to Eon Hair for sponsoring today's video. So let's get into this look. Today we will be installing these number 27 crochet boho braids. So I have three packs, which is a 72 count in total of these crochet boho braids box braids so this is what they look like on the website and in comparison to out of the package to me this is identical the color is spot on so these are pre-loop and you do get a crochet needle with your order so that makes it easy to install them so you don't have to buy anything in addition to install them so for my foundation I just have box braids which are connected and I did that to towards the front and in the back and then once the two met in the middle I just corn rode everything together so for the install I take the crochet needle and I stick it through the base of the braid and then I take the pre-looped part of the boho braid and hook that in and pull it through once I pull it through now I'm just going to hook the actual braid and then pull that braid through the loop and that is how you secure the crochet braid so I'm going to show you this a few times and I do show you this up close just so you understand so once again I push it through the base of the braid I hook it to the needle and then loop it through and secure it like that so I used about everything except I think for three braids I only had three braids left over so this was super full I went in and added more braids as needed once I got towards the end but I think this is the perfect look especially if you don't braid like that listen I got this done in just a few hours I did take breaks the crochet just saves you so much time money and work so once again stick the crochet needle through the base and then hook the pre-looped part to the hook pull it through and then once you pull it through you loop it to the braid and pull that through and that's it I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this throughout I'm not gonna talk through the whole video but I will come back and talk to you and just explain what I'm doing because I did this style install before with black hair and I will link that but the parts weren't as neat and I did not use as many braids so it was not as full of an install so a little bit more about this hair these are 24 inches you can get this in 18 inches or 24 inches this is nice and long and I love a long install no matter what the style is I do love this hair it's super soft and the color let's just talk about the color I was very skeptical so the colors did take some convincing but as I moved along in the install and started to fill in the braids then it started to come together like here I'm like okay this may be able to work because as I add more braids it's starting to look like something I'm trying to like picture the whole hairstyle like envision the whole style so I'm gonna go ahead and do one side I'm gonna complete one side and show it to you and then I will come back once we move further along because I want to show you what the back looks like because this process you would just repeat this process throughout the whole install and you literally do the same thing in the back except you want to use a little bit more in the back because you really want to camouflage whatever you have going on back there as far as a foundation so I will be back in a little bit So at this point I was moving on to the second pack of braids and I'm going to show you what I have achieved so far. So this is what we're up to. It's filling in really nice. Look at that. It looks so good. Like this, I was not expecting this to look this good. Let me just tell y'all. I wasn't, but I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Now I need to do, you know, I need to do the blonde boho individuals now because this is fire. And you can put this up if you want to put it up. I did pull it up every so often as I was 
filling in the braids just to see what it would look like. So this is what the back looks like right now. So you cannot see anything back there. It is camouflaged really well. So I'm just going to continue to repeat the process throughout the entire head. You will see me point out certain spots in the video. Like I will point out certain spots in my hair and I'm just like showing you those are spots that I'm going to go back and fill in because some parts in the front looked a little gappy and I feel like it just didn't look good that way. So once I was sure that I had enough hair left over, I went back and started to fill in those parts where it was, it looked like hair was missing. Like it just looked like a braid should have been there. I made sure I went back and filled those in. I do want to say some of the braids I felt like it was a little harder to loop the entire braid through so I would suggest before you start the looping process just see if you can stretch the pre-loop part out just a little bit because not all but some braids were a little difficult to pull through so if you can just stick like even you can just use your finger and just try to open that loop up just a little more just to make sure you don't struggle to pull it through because that is the only thing that slowed me down for the ones that I want I wasn't able to just loop through so for the back there are cornrows connecting the front box braids to the back I did mention that so I'm just going to do the same thing with the cornrows. I just loop my braids onto those and fill it in so that you can't see anything. So here I'm just showing you how I do the back. I wanted to actually show you from a different angle and you're kind of just feeling at this point. If you do want to do like a whole mirror setup so you can see the back of your head, I definitely would suggest that. And you can go for smaller parts in the back, but I didn't want to. I was not going to keep this in very long, so I didn't want to do super small parts. But if this is a hairstyle that you plan on wearing for a while, I definitely suggest going with smaller parts. We're almost done filling it in. So I, like I said, I kept some spaces open. And once I finish this braid, that's when I'm gonna go in and start to fill those in. So, Cause I don't want it to look gappy. I want it to look full. I want it to look like I got my hair braided for real. I need you to be up close to notice that these are crochet braids. From far away, I wanted to give boho braids, okay? So now I'm done, but that part there that I was eyeing that from the very beginning, I knew I was going to go back and fill that in. So that is one area that I went back and filled in with a braid. That area there, I'm going to go in and add another braid. So it's basically just me looking at it and seeing like, okay. You can use some hair there. Let's go back and add another braid in there. Yes. And I'm loving this. Look how gorgeous this hair is. I love the curls. I love this. So they do have other options as far as colors. They do have a lighter blonde. If I'm, I'm pretty sure they have like a 613 mix type blonde. So you can check that out. And they have black as well, of course. But I just wanted to try this color. I thought this color would be different in... I love it. I'm going to have all the links down in the description box so you can check that out. I'm also going to link my other crochet videos. So once I'm done, the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to wet the hair down just so you can see these curls get activated. I'm going to add a little bit of mousse. You know, I love my lot of body mousse and I'm going to style my baby hairs. I didn't leave a lot of hair out on my edges. 
because the last style I just I felt like I did too much so I left a little bit of hair out and I used the braid gel I actually used the braid gel to do the whole foundation but I used the braid gel on my edges too because it holds really well like this is the next day and my edges are still kind of laid so yeah check out that braid gel that's linked in the description box as well this is a 360 look you can't see nothing from the back can't clock me yeah what was said can't clock it this is the braid gel so I'm just gonna swoop those little bit of edges that I left out and then I'm going to wet my hair down and add a little bit of lot of body Oh, and I'm still filling in braids. I forgot about that. Like I, anywhere that I felt, it looked a little gappy and it was definitely gappy right there. But B, also I want to mention, don't make your foundation too tight. Like your connected box braids, you don't want that too tight because you do have to pull braids through that hair. So don't keep it comfortable. So yeah, this is just water in my spray bottle and as I stated, these curls are gorgeous. I didn't drench the hair, but I definitely wanted to wet it and see how this curl looked with water. And I love it, y'all. Like, I'm so happy with this hairstyle. I'm glad I tried this color and I gave this method another try because the last time I did the braid like this, it wasn't the same. This one, mm, yeah. I love it. And the good thing about these, you can reuse these. I should have said that before. I love the idea of reusing these. If you want to take it out and try something else, do another hairstyle, when you're ready to spin a block and come back to these, it's nothing to do that because they're pre-looped and you basically loop the entire hairstyle. So you just unloop it. You can wash them. Just check them out. All the links will be down below. Big thank you to Eon Hair for sponsoring today's video. And I'll see you beauties in the next one. Bye.